Hello, welcome to this video tutorial on modeling a torso. My name is Richard Riddell, and I'll be your guide through the creation process. Modeling the human body may seem like a daunting task, but with the proper reference setup and the right approach, one can quickly achieve the desired result. With that said, let's begin. All right, I have my reference set up from the previous uh, video tutorial. When you're modeling a body, you want to start with the best shape. And when modeling a torso, you probably want to start with a cylinder because it's round and uh, the body has a uh, roundish um, flow to it. So I'm making a cylinder and I am going to convert it to a poly and then name it, give it a color. I'll go into vertice mode and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate with angle snap on the vertices in the top view 30 degrees. The reason why I'm doing this is so I have a center line that runs up the center of my body. Next delete the top and bottom caps because they're not needed. We need those open edges there. I'm just going to turn on show edged faces. Now I'm going to mainly work in vertice mode and edge mode. I'm going to select rows of vertices and I'm going to scale and move them into position. So I'm starting here tapering up to the top of the neck. The next thing I'm going to do select the edges and connect them. Right away I'm going to scale and move that new edge, that new loop that goes all the way around into position right below the armpits there. I'm going to connect above the armpits, move and scale, defining the, uh, the different sections of the body. Going up to the neck and select those edges, connect them, and scale. Notice I'm only working in the, uh, the front view. I'm going to go down to the lower uh, torso there, do a ring connect, scale that new edge right away, and then move it. Now I'm going to make my object see-through by right-clicking, and I can see my reference through my geometry. Now I'm going to sculpt the shape a little bit more in vertice mode. Now I'm going to move over to the left view, turn on edge faces, and by box selecting the rows of vertices and moving them and scaling them, I can trace out my, uh, my model. Remember to always drag out around the rows of vertices so you grab the ones that lie directly behind one another. I'm going to scale it. And I'm just trying to achieve the rough shape. So I'm just trying to flesh that out. So always drag around the verts and try to get the, uh, the geometry to conform to the reference. Now I'm going to go and uh, start working symmetrically. I'm going to go into polygon sub-object mode and delete the left side of the uh, subject's body. And I'm going to put a symmetry modifier on. If the uh, geometry disappears, click the flip button. If you have a seam, move the uh, mirror sub-object of the symmetry modifier so that the two halves come together without a seam. Now I can work symmetrically. I'm just working in the front view there. Thinking about getting some good edge flow going. I'm not too concerned about the detail at this point. I just want to start getting the good shape going. So in the front I'm going to add an extra loop there. I'm going to select the edges and connect them. I'm going to move them forward, move them into round right away. Going to do the same thing in the back. It gives me extra 
opportunity for roundness and detail there. So I could like push the verts in in the back and define the spine a little bit more. I'm just going to move these verts down, move those down a little bit. Now I'm going to create a, um, a crotch bridge. I'm going to join the two edges at the front and back together with a new edge, which or a new polygon, I should say. I'm going to bridge the, the two edges with a new poly. There we go. I'm going to select the two edges on that new poly and connect them and move that down. Notice I'm creating roundness. I'm creating a, a leg hole. I'm going to chamfer that new edge that um, I just made from the connection. And now just round it off. There we go. So you'll notice I'm, I'm selecting edges and connecting them to create more detail and then using the uh, the vert sub object mode to create more shape and shape and sculpt. Now in this section here I've moved some vertices from the center line inward to create the the uh, the buttocks crack. So they kind of go twisty there. But then I don't have to deal with it later. So I get some definition. I'm gonna add an extra loop here on the on the bottom of the torso so I can define the shape a little bit better. Move these verts here up at the uh, the top. I just want to get this basic cage going so I can create my uh, my limbs in the next uh, step. So right away can scale that new edge. I'm gonna make the arm hole make it round the uh, the six vertices there and I'll select those two polygons and delete them notice I have a six-sided armhole so when I create my uh, my arm I can create it with a six-sided cylinder and it'll all line up so I'm thinking ahead to what's going to be coming up So I'm just defining the pelvic region a little bit better. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I just want to get the basic um, torso cage going so I can attach the limbs.